Hello, thank you for tuning in to the BC Liquor YouTube channel. My name is David Walla Widnick, and I'm the resident cocktail stylist of Taste Magazine. This, currently, is the 2021 holiday season. And in this issue, we've got some great gifting ideas. One of them is this box here. Now you'll have to go out and collect all of the, the box and its contents um, and then go and pick up a bottle of Maker's Mark from BC Liquor Stores. But the box is really easy to put together. So we took this box and we put in there some coasters and some equipment like a Hawthorne strainer, a fine strainer, a mixing spoon and ingredients for the cocktail. A little sugar, there's a little bag of cloves, and some cranberries. Now you could put in fresh or frozen cranberries into this recipe, either work. And of course some oranges. That's it. Really easy to put together. Now three days ago I took an entire bottle of Maker's Mark and I put it into this one liter canning jar. Then I put in one cup of fresh cranberries. I put in one quarter cup of sugar and 12 cloves. That's it. Only 12 cloves. I took the peel off of one whole orange, being very careful to remove that white pith. We don't want it there. It doesn't really do anything for us. Now, once a day, or sometimes twice a day, you could take that and give it a little turn just to mix the sugar right in. It doesn't become a sweet cocktail because there's tartness in the cranberries and there's astringency in both the orange peel and the cloves. All of that tends to balance out the sweetness. After three days, I can take this whole jar and strain it right out. Strain out all those solids. Now I could pour it right back into this canning jar or into the empty Maker's Mark bottle. Either way works. For today, I'm just going to pour it straight from this vessel and make a cocktail for you. So this is going to be two ounces which is also 60 mils of this Maker's Mark influenced with cranberries, cloves, a little sugar, and orange peel. Let's get some ice into this glass and give it a stir. You could easily write out some instructions as you give this gift to a loved one, or you could direct them to this YouTube channel, or Pick up the magazine. It's a free copy in all of the BC liquor stores. Now let's give this a stir. We want to stir it enough to both chill it and appropriately dilute it. Even though we'll be pouring it over new ice in the old fashioned glass, we still want to make sure that it's properly diluted. If it's nice and cold and we pour it over new ice, it's less likely to further dilute quickly. There we go. And let's strain that right into our waiting cocktail glass. You could at this point, if you wish, also give it a little stir. Get those ice cubes to kind of settle down a little bit. And garnish, take an orange peel, slice it without the pith on it, and stud it with some cloves. It looks beautiful and adds to these wonderful aromatics. You could also squeeze more of those lemon oils over the surface if you wish. It's a really easy cocktail. Your friends would love it. Please pick up this current issue of Taste Magazine or Tune in again to this YouTube channel. I look forward to seeing you again soon.